Hi there folks, Matt Hayson here. Over the last week or so, we've seen some fairly dramatic headlines in the media about the property market, which have certainly been grabbing attention. And I thought I'd delve into those with a little bit more detail today because the media does play a significant role in influencing the conversations we're having with buyers and sellers in real time right now in the market. Starting with the big one, both ANZ and Macquarie Bank came out during the week with their forecasts predicting that Sydney property prices are likely to decline by 10% from peak to trough. Now we're roughly 5% down across Sydney with property prices since March last year, meaning that we're likely to see another 5% correction over the course of the next 12 months. Having said that, as I bring up this graph, there are certain regions in Sydney which are already experiencing double digit price reductions since March last year, including the inner west, which is down by 10.5%. However, to bring that all into context, Sydney property prices are still up by 60% since 2012. So it's not all bad news out there. Also this week, I wanted to tackle a misnomer that we hear quite a lot in the real estate space, and that is valuations are always conservative or below market value. And there may be some truth to that statement when property prices are increasing quickly. However, in the current market, when property prices are easing back, we're seeing a pretty consistent trend that valuations are coming through at market value, if not higher than market value. And the reason being is valuers are using data that could be three or six months old. And in that time, property values have actually dropped. So the net impact on today's price is that you're actually getting quite a strong valuation. Now we suspect that will continue while property prices are continuing to ease back. Also, over the past month or so, we've seen a new wave of buyer entering the market. Now this new pool of buyer are under the stricter regime of lending and they're very price sensitive. Even if these buyers see a property that really suits their requirements and they really wanna go for it, they don't have a lot of wriggle room to pay that little bit extra to get that deal done. So it's gonna be very interesting, but they're certainly intrigued about better value on offer and what is happening in the market. And the question is, will we look back at this point in the market and think this was the ultimate time to buy a Sydney property. Time will tell. So that's it for this week. There's very good value out in the market and our entire team looks forward to seeing you at an open home this weekend.